Hey guys, my name is Dustin Wise. I'm going to tell you about uh, an experience I had when I went to Australia with a group called YWAM and I did a discipleship training school there. Um, basically what we did is we went and spent a week on the Australian coast there and I was with this crew called the Red Frog Crew and it was pretty cool. Basically what we did is we'd walk around um, and just knock on doors because during this week there was a just giant high school graduation party going on on the coast, like 25,000 high schoolers on one coast. And we just go and visit rooms and just hang out with the kids during the night, during the evening hours when the parties were the hottest, you know. And so one room that I remember in particular, um, we, we hung out there most of, most of the time that we were there. And there was this kid named Josh there. And um, he kind of throughout the week kind of started asking us questions like why are you guys why are you guys here like you're cool and all and I, I like you being here but why are you guys here and we kind of explained to him that we were we were here just to kind of befriend him to help him out to to be there and that we were all Christians that we had a personal relationship with God so throughout the week he just kept asking questions you know well what has God done for you why do you believe in him why do you do this you know and all this time, you know, all his friends are just kind of drinking and doing all this other stuff. But he was really focused on what has God done in our life. And by the end of the week, he's, he decided, he said, man, I want a piece of what you guys have. I want to experience this God guy. And so we just started praying for him. And after like two hours of praying for him, he, he just started speaking in tongues, just going wild. He ran out of the room and we're going, wow, he just kind of disappeared. He came back and he was still speaking in tongues and all his friends came and followed him. They're freaking out. What's going on? And we actually had to pray for him to stop speaking in tongues so we could communicate with him again and say, man, what's going on? And we came back the next night and the same kid, Josh, had a Bible open, the free Gideon Bible that's in the hotel room. And he was preaching to all his friends. And at first we were all a little concerned. We went, well, this guy has never heard about God. He's never been in church. I don't know what he's preaching, if that would be legitimate. And surprisingly, it was. The Holy Spirit was just very much on him, and everything that he was preaching was very legitimate, and all his friends were asking questions. Two more of his other friends got saved because this kid started preaching to him. And so, anyhow, I hope this story uh, maybe touched some of you guys. It's a cool story to see how God can work in the life of somebody who's maybe never heard of him before. God can work in an instant. It doesn't have to be over years of going to church. He can work in the period of an hour. So, anyhow, that's my story. My name's Dustin. Thanks for listening. Hi, my name's Thomas Sparks. And I'm Michelle Sparks. And uh, we just wanted to tell you about an experience that we had leading a DTS outreach to Nepal and India. And we had the opportunity to see a young girl get healed of uh, deafness in one of her ears. Yeah, her and her mom walked for 12 miles one way in over 100 degrees weather and um, just having so much faith that God wanted to heal her and I really knew that they had more faith than we did. Come and fill her up Holy Spirit. God, I just thank you for her faith, Lord, to walk all the way here, Father God, because she knows that you are the healer and you've already began to heal her, Father God. Yeah. Lord, I pray right now for, for a clearing of the teeth, for a clearing of the gestation from the throat. Lord, I pray that you would come like a brush and scrub out all the bad stuff inside of you, Lord. You would just clean her out, Lord. Clean out her ears, Lord, that she would be able to hear. Like this kind of Oh, yeah, she can be some. <laughs> <laughs>